Hi everyone, this is Dr. Stefan. Welcome to another video. In this one, I'd like to talk a little bit about Ventolin inhalers and whether they should be effective for many, many hours or not. I'll read you a comment that I got because I think it's, it's a good starting point for a discussion. So uh, the person who's made the comment says the following. I had to use a four month old expired Ventolin inhaler for two months because I had no infective inhalers. It works for a brief moment, but after a few hours, it's ineffective. I'm not using I'm now using an effective Ventolin inhaler. Now I have a few issues with this comment. First of all, obviously you shouldn't be using expired medication if you can help it. So if you, if you have inhalers lying around that have been there for a few years, maybe it's best to like clean those up and maybe get some new prescriptions filled. Try to you know, make sure that you're having effective medication that's been stored properly at home. So that's the first thing. Now, the other thing would be that the person who's made this comment has mentioned that the Ventolin inhaler that they've used only works for a brief moment, but after a few hours it's ineffective. And they've replaced it with another Ventolin inhaler and they, that seems to be working better. Actually, I'm not sure if that's, a, that's particularly true. So the Ventolin inhaler contains a medication called salbutamol. It's a bronchodilator, but it's a short-acting bronchodilator. Now that medication is actually designed to have a duration of effect that lasts for about four to six hours. After that, it's no longer effective. That's how this medication works. If you are using your Ventolin inhaler many, many times a day just to control your breathing symptoms, your breathlessness is really out of proportion, you're having to use Ventolin all the time or another salbutamol inhaler all the time, another blue inhaler all the time, I would say that maybe it's a good idea to talk to your doctor and see why you are using so much inhaler. Is it because maybe your technique is not optimal and you're not getting the full effect of that medication? Or is it because you've got a condition that maybe requires a different type of treatment with a long-acting bronchodilator or a medication that lasts for a longer period of time? Or is there something else going on? For example, if you're having asthma, is your asthma no longer as well controlled as it was before? And you may need some different type of medication. You may need to step up your medication for a couple of months. So I would say that if someone's using a lot of Ventolin or blue inhaler, you know, many, many times a day, you're going through one of these canisters a month or more, that's probably a good indication that something's going on with your respiratory condition that's not particularly well controlled. And there may be more effective medications out there available for you. So this is why I would urge you, if you are having some difficulties with your medication, there may be something else at play. It may be that the condition that you're trying to treat has changed in some way. So always getting a follow-up appointment with your doctor after a few months, after a year. If you haven't seen your doctor for a long time, you've been on the same inhalers for a very long time, it's probably a good idea to have a bit of a checkup just to see if everything's going well still. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have further questions, do leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you in future videos. All the best and good health.